All right, losers, finals, best of three, Cal versus Saga, Samus versus Meta Knight. And Sago just learned that the down tilt goes through the tornado, thus probably making him win tomorrow. <laughs> really hoping that spike would have worked. That would have been pretty epic. Finally going down at 175 to an up error. Oh, man. Doing some violent stuff there. Ooh, and the up tilt does it for the first kill. I've been waiting to see this. Will Cal be able to do this using Marth?
help us out some nice stuff with Marth here. Hey, Beaks, you want to commentate with me on this? What? It's not even a question. I have invited Beaks here so I can get some uh, Marth analysis going on here because I personally haven't seen Kel play Marth, period. Um, yeah, you just have to speak in this area and not hear you. Marth, Marth, Vanadite is just, I don't know, it, I like it certain times in certain matches. Just, it just matters on the Meta Knight's playing style. I mean, if they rush the shit out of Marth, you are screwed. I mean, you can over B a lot, but you, that can only go so far. Now, luckily, this is a reverse mains tournament, so Sago might not know that. Well, Sago, so I was playing Sago earlier, and he knew what he was doing with, against Mark pretty well. It looked like me. And I saw I saw Kel do the grab release earlier, which is very, very good against Meta Knight, since it's a free forward air tip. I see. You can. Is that if they release on the ground as well? Or? Ooh, excellent counter! Yeah. But it's just not enough. He's lucky that that uh, that didn't just hit his feet. See, here we go. We're gonna. He's gonna do it again. Huh? But but he did his shuttle loop before. Yeah. I mean, you have to really know what you're doing with that grab release. All That's right. just ridiculous. That's some good DI. I'll not lie. And the shuttle loops just seem to be not going into orbit at all. <laughs> I think it's kind of losing its steam, it seems like to me. You've been using it too much to get it uh, generating. Alright, now we're at a part where the. Oh, oh they're not going to go for stalling, alright. I'm surprised. I, mean, I am too, since they did it earlier. Well, Zago told me he was kind of tired earlier, so he just wanted to get this going. That could be. Like, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm I'm very tired, but. Oh, uh, one, one of the feats of this casual event is uh, being able to stay awake long enough. Yeah. Especially, especially me, the TO. Yeah, the, you're the TO. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad for you. Well, luckily, I'm not gonna run doubles, which is the first event. So oh, I could okay. actually, I could Sleep actually in. take like a half hour nap if I really need to. But Are you gonna stay up all night, or? I'm probably gonna try to crash after this. That's what I thought. That's what I will see. Is this, uh, what There's is what plenty is of rooms? So is this some uh, finals? Ah, uh, losers finals. Loser finals. Okay. Where this place should go? I see. And uh, Saigo is up again. A game. See, Since I got. I got Since the first game was my yep. night for Samus. <laughs> yep. I got wrecked on mine. I just don't know how to play Sonic. Wait, Cal, Cal's a good Meta Knight. Uh, Marth, from what I recall. I, did not, I wanted to play him because I like more Dittos, but I really never seen him play. I had, I had heard he'd played him a lot more in Japan than he did Meta Knight. Really? So, I think that might be in preparation. I'm pretty sure he's going to pick him up if he gets banned. Um, I, I have no idea how that's going to go. All I can say is just... Whatever happens, it'll, probably, it'll influence my decision strongly, or my uh, my uh, brawl actions, who I'll pick up and what I should do. Right. I know it'll affect a lot of people too. But you know, besides that, well, let's go back to the match. The one thing I hear I'm more complaints about is Jigglypuff names dropping the characters. Really? Yeah, because like out of the uh, out of the like top tier ones, Meta Knight's actually one of their better matchups. Huh. Um, and they think that when he gets dropped, there's going to be a lot more game and watches. Oh, I believe it. I but, think. And a, but I argue that there's going to be a lot more D3s to, con to counter all the snakes. Because you're going to get a lot of, like, scrub players that are like, nice. okay, we'll play snake. Yeah. And D3 destroys them, so you'll get D3s. And thus, be Jigglypuff like, wrecks them. I mean, snake, you can do pretty good, like, it's a pretty good matchup with uh, D3 and snake. Because that chain grab does wreck him. I will not lie about that. Can't avoid it. Like I see some pretty good matches, like with Ultimate Razor, and just like a good D3. I can't remember his name. But that was a very good match on both their parts. But as I said before, he's Kel, Kel waiting on him. He's trying not to pressure him so much. And that was some weird yeah Sago's part. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think he was expecting the uh, the down the yeah. down yeah down sword dance the multi jab. Sword dance is just so critical in this matchup. Yeah, it's, that's something I can't do too well. Which is one thing that stopped me from picking up Marth. It's just, you gotta know the timing. But, see what I, see what I mean though? <laughs> Ooh, 
Ramayo finished it. Oh, wow. Very, very close game here. No kidding. Oh, uh, I thought that was it right there. Again, with the up B. Up B is just murder. And now, now game three, it'll probably be the same two characters again. Yep. I don't think it'll change. It would be hilarious if you did pull out Peach and just like stomp.